Welcome to the 3D Heart Project series of videos. My name is Jan Vimetta, and I'm a medical student at the University of Alberta. Today, we will be reviewing a type of heart disease called a right aortic arch with an aberrant left subclavian artery, which forms a vascular ring. Let's get started. The models will be shown to you as if you are looking at the heart inside the body of someone in front of you. Each 3D model of the heart can be made to show either the muscle of the heart or the blood that is contained within the chambers of the heart. Today we are going to be using a model that shows the blood inside the chambers of the heart, which is called a blood pool model. This type of model is used to show what the blood inside the heart chambers looks like, which gives a clear idea of the size of each part of the heart. We can also see the blood in the important blood vessels that connect to and from the heart. We will start with looking at a 3D model of a normal heart. In order to get a better understanding of the normal heart, please watch our video that reviews the normal heart anatomy using a 3D model by clicking the link provided below. Looking at this model of the normal heart, you can see that this is the right side of the heart and the patient's body, and that this is the left. You can see the aorta, which is the biggest blood vessel in the body. This is the main pipe where blood carrying oxygen exits the heart and travels to the rest of the body. Normally, the aorta travels to the left side of the body, as you can see here. It then curves downwards to take the blood to the lower half of the body. You can also see that the aorta has three branches or blood vessels coming off the top part, known as the arch of the aorta. These three branches carry blood to the neck, head, and arms. The last of these branches is called the left subclavian artery, which is a blood vessel that brings blood to the left arm. Before a baby is born, there is a blood vessel called the ductus arteriosus that connects the aorta to the left pulmonary artery to allow the blood to skip the uninflated lungs in an unborn baby. After birth, this blood vessel closes, leaving behind tissue called the ligamentum arteriosum, which would be located right here. This does not usually cause any problems in the typical heart. Now we will take a look at a 3D model of a heart with a right aortic arch and an aberrant left subclavian artery. Here you can see the right side of the heart colored in blue. The left side of the heart and its major blood vessels are colored in red. The trachea is located here and is colored in white. The trachea is your windpipe, or the tube that carries air with oxygen to your lungs. The esophagus is located in the back and is colored in yellow. The esophagus is the tube that allows food to travel from your mouth to your stomach. When we look at the heart and the aorta, you can see that it travels upwards as it leaves the heart and then curves to the right. This is why it's called a right aortic arch. This is different from the normal heart that we reviewed, where the aorta curved towards the left side of the body. Having a right aortic arch by itself does not usually cause any problems, but when it's associated with other abnormalities, then it does cause a problem. Now, let's look at the branches or blood vessels coming off the aorta in this heart. Remember that in the normal heart, 
there were three branches coming off the top of the aorta. When we look at this heart, we have four branches coming off the top. In the name of this heart disease, it says there is an aberrant left subclavian. Aberrant just means abnormal. Remember that in the normal heart, the left subclavian artery, which brings blood to the left arm, is the third branch of the aorta. But in this heart, it's the fourth branch. The combination of the right aortic arch and the aberrant left subclavian artery may cause trouble for patients. Now, let's review the main problem that patients face with this type of heart. The main issue is the formation of what we call a vascular ring. A vascular ring is when the abnormal heart development results in blood vessels surrounding and compressing or squeezing some other structures. In this case, this abnormal heart development is causing the trachea and the esophagus to be compressed by a ring of blood vessels and other structures. Remember that the trachea or your windpipe is seen here in white and the esophagus is seen here in yellow. The ligamentum arteriosum would be located right here. But we can't see it in this model because there is no blood flowing through it. Remember that the ligamentum arteriosum is a leftover structure from a blood vessel that's present before we are born. The right-sided aortic arch, the base of the left subclavian artery, and what is called the ligamentum arteriosum, are compressing the trachea and esophagus by forming a ring around them. There is also a little bulge at the base of the left subclavian artery, known as comeral's diverticulum. This bulge is not seen in the normal heart and is typically seen in hearts with abnormal subclavian arteries. This bulge can cause additional compression to surrounding structures. The main issue with this heart disease is the compression of the trachea and esophagus. This can result in symptoms such as noisy breathing by compressing the trachea and difficulty swallowing from compressing the esophagus. In young babies, parents may notice noisy breathing. Older patients may notice difficulty with swallowing or choking on food. To treat this heart disease, a surgery can be done which can make the symptoms better. The surgeon will need to cut the ligamentum arteriosum and may also need to cut out comeral's diverticulum, the bulge at the base of the left subclavian artery. This will allow the ring of structures surrounding the trachea and the esophagus to be opened up so that there is no longer compression or squeezing of the trachea and esophagus. To review, this type of congenital heart disease is due to a problem in the development involving the aorta and branches from the aorta. This heart disease causes a ring of structures to surround and compress the trachea, your windpipe, and the esophagus, the tube food travels through. 
When these are compressed, patients can have breathing and swallowing problems. Surgical treatment will open the ring that's causing the compression, which should improve the symptoms. Thank you for watching our video on the right aortic arch with an aberrant left subclavian artery. Please visit our website at 3dheartproject.com or click on the link in the description below. There you can sign up for updates and find more 3D heart content, including more videos and models of different heart abnormalities. Please leave us a comment or like our video below. And if you wanna see videos as they come out, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.